Good morning to all. I am Dr. Srinivasan. In this video, I am going to discuss about the feed ingredients using in the aqua and powder industry. So, we are going to discuss outline of the ingredients. So, so what are the animal protein, plant protein, oil source and calcium phosphorus source and the feed additives they are using in the feed for making better performance to the targeted animals. So this uh, video only describes the outline of the ingredients. So we will see the first slide. In feed ingredient, there are majorly described five patterns using in the feed. Uh, there is one two main categories one is major raw material second is minor raw materials in this one uh, we are going to discuss about what are the major raw materials source using in the feed ingredients first one we'll see animal protein so animal protein what kind of animal protein they are using in the feed meat and bone meal fish meal blood meal squid meal clam meal so depending upon the availability depending upon the feed protein level so cost also one of the main factor the inclusion level of animal protein source along with we see that anti nutritional factors so these are the parameter will influence more the inclusion of animal protein in the formulation second one is the plant protein so it comes from soya DOC rapeseed meal cotton DOC like that third one is the energy source so energy means uh, uh, any organism it should be performance need from the energy without energy the animal performance is not at all possible fourth one is oil so oil there should be two different veg oil plant argil plant argin oil like that then calcium and phosphorus so that is also very important for bone development excel formation in aqua skeleton development in shrimp uh, molting so this is the very crucial parameter for major raw materials in this slide showing what are the animal protein using in the aqua and poultry industry so fish meal there are a lot of species there so depending upon the protein variation is uh, commonly using for 36 to 68 percentage proteins in the aquan poultry industry then fish protein concentrate using in the shrimp industry fish soluble using in the aqua industry fran and uh, shrimp head meal using in poultry also squala meal squid uh, the cuttlefish waste meal, clam meal, mussel meal that is also using in uh, aqua and dusty, particularly in shrimp. Poultry feather meal using in uh, aqua and poultry, both meat and bone meal using in aqua and poultry, particularly fishes and uh, poultry. Blood meal also using poultry and aqua. So, these animal origin uh, have the possibilities of contamination with the E. coli bacterial contaminations. So before using this kind of animal protein sources, you should check with the whether it is 100% sterilized meal. See, sterilized means the bacterial contamination, the bacterial harmful bacterial biofilm should be less. So and also the cost is one of the in criteria using the maximum minimal inclusion level. So maximum amino acids balance will better compared with the uh, plant protein inclusion in feed so that's why everyone uh, choose with the uh, animal protein but depending upon the quality so most of them avoid this material so so when you feel or you are getting good quality material with the uh, sterilized products means you can definitely use uh, 2 to 5 percent 20 kg to 50 kg more than that depending upon the quality depending upon our nutritionist so based on that you can decide it clearly soya full fat soya using more in a 
shrimp industry along with the poultry also aquan poultry also so remaining the material cotton seed doc mustard doc sunflower doc safflower doc rapeseed doc gingerly doc linseed doc cotton coconut doc cotton seed doc so these materials using in fish and the poultry so depending upon the anti nutritional factor depending upon the digestibility factor depending upon the amino acids contribution to performance and also cost and availability so based on this the level of inclusion should be vary formulation to formulation particularly nsp non polysaccharide and anti nutritional factor so crucial parameter of inclusion of uh, this uh, plant raw material in feed formulation maximum and minimum level so when you think about a uh, uh, higher level usage so that should be give some adverse effect like uh, cotton seed doc have some gossip as the anti nutritional factor so we cannot include more than 10% in layer so whenever you go use this material so 5% is 50 kg is the ideal sometimes 2.5% like each and rap seed meal rap seed meal 2.5 to 5% is max uh, in poultry in aqua also it's 7.5 k 7.5 percent 75 kg is the max so when you use more uh, means your uh, feed will come dark coloration and the digestibility level the fiber level also should increase so based on that uh, the level of inclusion should be desiring the here so these are the material commonly using in the all feed feeds in the india so in this slide showing energy source energy source what are the energy source so maize rice bran rice pollies corn gluten meal broken rice wheat bran wheat flour tofia co flour millets ddgs bajra sorghum then deoiled rice bran drb jowar so in aquan poultry mostly using these are the ingredient for uh, energy source so this is also depending upon the anti nutritional factor and also price factor availability source source material sourcing source so these are the main factors so formulation giving palletization purpose also and start gelatination purpose also the level of inclusion should be differ formulation to formulation so these are the commonly using ingredient uh, for energy purpose in aquan poultry now we come to the oil source what are the oil source you are using in aquan poultry industry in india fish oil soya oil rice bran oil vegetable oil cod liver oil so these are the oil depending upon the price factor so they will use uh, inclusion level and uh, palatability and it's giving omega 3 fatty acids level contribution for uh, for uh, feed so these are the material using in aquan poultry so cod liver oil soya oil fish oil mostly using in the shrimp feed industry in fishes and uh, poultry they are using rb oil soya oil and veg oil so maximum sometimes some of them using fish oil in palletization apart from that uh, in uh, mutton tallow so that is also using in the aquan poultry industry so whenever the price factor they consider about the price factor so now we are uh, discussing about the micro ingredients so, so everyone will know about the usage of macro ingredients so, so the better feed performance depending upon the micro ingredients so there should be some adequate levels need for vitamin free mix mineral mixtures some amino acids balance because everyone thinking about the protein will contribute uh, better performance like that so when you unbalanced pro amino acids also will leads to uneven signs and production disturb in the farming level of aquan poultry so lysine methionine threonine also most important so these are the uh, throughout the year available amino acids with cheap cost along with nowadays uh, concept is coming for probiotics enzymes antioxidants so that is also 
give additional support for uh, feed performance and uh, gut health maintenance, feed digestion and uh, feed nutrient leaching. So those uh, three ingredients will support uh, along with pellet binders when pelletization for pellet binder is giving important role for uh, leaching here. So mold incubator when you are using raw material should be the master level should be higher side means the storage level should be minimum 5, five to 10 days means the mold incubator should be helpful to storage of the feed material then antimicrobial agent feed attractants like some essential oils some coloring agents they are using for uh, uh, fishes and bats uh, attract the feed then growth promoters so toxin binders acidifiers emulsifiers choline chloride so when you think about the micro ingredients so each uh, every ing ingredients giving some individual role giving the better feed performance so these that's why the commercial feeds are giving better results so, so they always uh, give balanced level of nutrients in their feed so when you are making own feed also you also think about the balancing nutrient level to the animals so, so that also support to for better feed digestion and absorption is very important so then only you can get good performance for our uh, reference i am here just mentioned uh, what are the feed ingredients uh, then what their protein level fat level and fiber level so you can get it from nrc national research counselor and various uh, feeding softwares so those have that uh, feed standards then you are using any poultry means poultry for winkies we get suguna then highland they are also giving up for the ingredient and their nutrient composition so you should take the reference and before making the formulation along with that you should use maximum and minimum inclusion level of anti-nutritional factor digestibility level so should be very much needed to before making the in this slide showing rice follies, wheat flour, jowar, mice, corn gluten meal, DDGS, DORP, wheat bran, bajra and broken rice and that digestible energy level for fishes means digestible energy level and poultry you want metabolic energy level along with the protein, crude protein, fat, fiber, as with amino acids balance also important to before making the feed formulation you should take this is for our for reference and now we come to the calcium phosphorus source what are the calcium phosphorus source adding in the uh, feed formulation so there should be mcp monocalcium phosphate dcp dicalcium phosphate so these uh, two ingredient will uh, contribute the calcium and phosphorus availability to the feed stone grit you may get it for calcium level cell grit also calcium level lsp limestone powder calcium powder the difference should be means the percentage of calcium and phosphorus that is very important uh, so how much there so because it, it should be directly support for bone development skeletal development and excel formation so we need to maintain some adequate level of calcium phosphorus in our feed formulation so that is what this slide uh, giving that uh, outline of what are the major calcium phosphorus source will add in the feed formulation Thank you. We will see that next video each uh, ingredients and their uh, anti-nutritional factor, their contribution of palatability, their contribution of digestibility like that. Thank you.